At the end of this tutorial, you'll learn how to animate these wings with their shape keys and procedural noise. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's animate a flying bug quickly. First thing you're going to do is press numpad 7, select the default cube, go to the modifier properties, which is this wrench, add modifier, add a subdivision surface modifier, and then zoom in here, press shift D to duplicate this, press Y to lock it on the Y axis, and do that, then select the original default cube, and press tab, and then press 3 to switch to face select, and we're going to select this back face over here, then press numpad 3, and we, all we're going to do here is we're going to press G, Y, and if you want, you can also press S just to scale it up. And we can press Control R. And you can just bring this down like that. And then we're going to press Tab, and we're going to select this. And we can press Control R. Well, first press, make sure you're in edit mode, press tab, control R. And then you want to press 3 to be on face select. Box select this, oh, no, that's not it. You want to select this face here. Yeah. And press numpad 3, and we can scale this up. Press G to pull it out. And we want that to be on 2. And we're going to press Tab and make sure this is also on 2. And then we're going to Shade Smooth. Shade Smooth. And one thing we want to do is to go Object Data Properties, Normals, Auto Smooth. And I'm going to do it on 36 degrees, just personal preference. Choose whatever preference you prefer. So that's the weird shape of my bug. The only thing I want to change quickly is just I want to press S and scale this down. Okay, there we go. I'm going to press numpad 7. We've got the head area and we've got the body over here. And we're going to press Shift A Mesh Plane. And I'm going to press G, Y to lock it to the Y axis. Bring it to about there. G, X. G, X, maybe a bit more in like that, and then press Tab, press 2 to be in Edge Select, select this edge over here, press E to extrude, press X to lock it on the X axis, and then press 1 to go to Vertex Select, and now you can just move these things around to a shape that you feel makes sense for the design you're, you are going for. Once you found a design that you like, uh, press 3 to be on face select. Select all the top faces, press numpad 1, press E to extrude, just make sure it's thick enough. For me, this is more than thick enough, press numpad 7. Then we're going to go to the modifier properties, add modif modifier, and we're going to use the subdivision surface modifier. And I'm quite happy with that. The only thing I, I want to change for personal preference is I'm going to press 2 to go to Edge Select, press holding Alt and select this edge, right click, Edge Increase, and I'm going to make this Increase 1. And then I'm going to add one more subdivision. And I'm very happy with that weird heart like shape. It's like a, this is stylized. Uh, the next thing you want to do is add a mirror modifier and mirror it based on the body, which we need to finish. So let's select the head, hold in shift and select the body and press Control J to join it as one. Add a new collection called, I guess, bug, because that's what we're making, some weird type of bug. Select the cube, drag it into that collection, rename it body. And rename this plane wing and bring it into the bug area as well. So now that you've got the wing selected, click over here, select body, and that is perfect. Now you for the wing you want to apply everything. And then you want to press tab to go into edit mode. You want to make sure X-ray is on. You want to box select everything and you want to press P 
and then separate by loose parts and then press tab and we can turn off we can turn off this x-ray but we're going to be turning it on in a second again we're going to press numpad one we're going to select the object data property we're going to add a base key which before we do that let's turn the x-ray on numpad seven and tab to go into edit mode press one to be on vertex select and select the outermost vertex which is somewhere there and then you want to press I believe it's shift s cursor to selected and now that you've done that you also want to switch this up over here to 3d cursor then you want to press numpad one to be in front orthographic view and you want to press r or you want to press select everything first sorry then you want to press r and just bring this down um, we're going to bring it down 20 degrees you can type in 20 for 20. once you've done that you're going to press tab to go into object mode and then you're going to add the plus over here for the base we're going to add the plus again for the key and then we're going to press tab to go into edit mode make sure you select everything again and we're going to rotate this now we're going to go up negative 40 and we're going to press we can we can we, we're going to press tab and we can we can now watch our wing go up and down which is great which is going to help us in a second now we want to do the same thing for this side we're going to select this we're going to press numpad 7 we're going to press tab we're going to make sure we press 1 to be in vertex select select the outermost vertex which is there shift s cursor to selected and then we're going to press numpad 1 we're going to box select everything and we're going to press R and we're going to rotate this negative 20 degrees. And once we've done that, we're going to select the next key and we're going to rotate this. Forty. And we'll press tab to go into object mode and we're going to select the other wing as well and control J and if we increase the value now the wings can flutter but now we want to try and automate that process to make it work procedurally which we will do now the next thing you want to do is hover over here and press I to add a keyframe and then we're going to open up our graph editor over here and we're going to press this squiggly line over here. I think I just missed. Ah, I need to switch to the graph editor, which is over here. Now that I'm in the graph editor and I have added my keyframe, I need to add a, here we go. Click on this and then add a modifier. And we're going to add a noise modifier. And if we play this, a little bit too fast so first thing we want to do is adjust that once you've added your noise modifier you can just adjust these settings here and you'll get different results based on the graph so if you want, don't want it to flap all the way you can reduce the strength or you can increase the strength also increase the scale And there's quite a lot to uh, play with here. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial where we made these birdie wings flap. Perhaps we want to make this 2. Or we make this 0 0.25 to make it flap really fast. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.